Hi everyone, I'm Director Zim and today I want to show you how I rigged up my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with Tilter footage. So this is the camera, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and um, this is the cage. I've already fixed uh, the brackets together to make a full cage. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is to slot this in into the cage. So I want to carefully slot this into the cage. All right. Then next, I'm going to locate this threaded hose here. There's one here. And uh, another one at the bottom. So I always like to tie the bottom first. So I'm going like this. So I got this screw, this is screw for the bottom. Right about here. So I'm going to screw it in with an allen key. Okay, then um, next I'm going to grab the screw for the top. So I'll realign the threaded hole. Okay, just about here. So straight in. So tighten it a little more bottom so tighten it a little more all right so it's well fitted in the cage you can see it it's well fitted in the cage all right so it's not firm and sturdy so next i'm going to attach the top handle this is the theta top handle so it's um sliding from the front so, and I also locate um, a threaded hole. I'm going to use this and I'll tighten it in. Okay, so uh, it's now more comfortable to hold the camera. So, next, I'm going to attach the base plate. This is the base plate. This base plate comes with. Um, this 15 millimeter rods with this uh, 15 millimeter rods um, you can attach a, a matte bus in front of the camera on the lens then um, uh, a v-man battery adapter plate at the back of the camera as well but i think these rods are too short i'm going to get longer rods to be able to rig um, my mad bus and my uh, V-Man battery uh, adapter plates uh, together. So I'm going to slide this in. It goes in like this. Somewhere around here. Take it back a little and I'll lock it. Whew. All right, so it's really locked in a cage. So next, this is the SSD holder from Tilter. So it goes in here. All right, so. I don't want to tighten it much because I'm going to attach an SSD now. I have uh, this Samsung T7 Shield SSD. In another video, I'm going to show you how I made it fit into the SSD holder that is made for Samsung T5. Okay, so I'm using the T7 Shield SSD. So, let's push it in here. I think tie this in too much. So, the SSD can go in here like this. So, thereabouts. 
This is the Type C USB cable, and this cable came with the cage, tilter cage. The good thing about this cable is um, it has these uh, screws with which you can um, screw the I can screw this cable to the SSD holder after it's setting it to the SSD like this. So I tighten this more. So this helps the SSD so that the cable won't pull off accidentally uh, while uh, filming. You know, it can be on the on the field recording on sets. Then anything happens accidentally, the cable can pull off, which will disrupt uh, the recording and can even uh, corrupt the file they are recording. So you see, so this comes in handy. So this helps secure it both to the SSD, the SSD to the SSD holder, and also the um, Type C cord to the cage. So on this other side, I'm going to remove this. Ah, this is off. <laughs> All right, so I can plug this in here. So now I can also tighten the cable to the cage. Now this is beautiful. Next, I'm going to attach a power solution that will power this whole setup. So now I have uh, this NPF battery adapter plate from Indie Pro. I'll be running on a Sony NPF battery for now. So I can look for a stable place to attach this. I can attach it here or to the side. But uh, I think I'm going to attach it to the side because um, I, I do make use of these uh, function buttons. Attaching it here is going to obstruct my finger accessing the function buttons. So I will attach it to the side. So, I think I'm going to grab a screwdriver. It's firm. Uh, I can connect this to the camera data port. So from here, so it snaps in. All right, so I now have a battery solution for my camera. This is beautiful, really beautiful. Then uh, I have this um, Sony NPF battery, which I'm going to run the system with. So I can fit it in here. Okay, so this can power my camera. So next, I'm going to attach a lens. I have this Rokin on 35mm T1.5 cinema lens. So this is uh, an EF lens. So I have this manual adapter. This is EF to micro four-third adapter. So I connect the adapter to the lens. So I connect the adapter to the lens. And attach the lens to the camera. All right. Okay, my rig is now becoming a bit heavy. Then um, I have this monitor from um, 
OC. This is a OC G7 monitor SDI and HDMI. It has both um, SDI in and out, HDMI in and out. It's beautiful and it's seven inches. Seven inches monitor. So monitor came with this uh, articulating magic arm. So first I'll connect the magic arm to the to the monitor. Then, then I can fix it here on the front, adjust it to any position I like, which should be okay. I can fix it here. Oh yeah, but I'm going to fix it here for now. So this articulating arm, I set it to a suitable position. Tighten it. Can now connect the monitor. This is the HDMI in. So the camera HDMI outputs. Viola, right, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I'm Director Zim, so subscribe to my channel, so I'll be uploading more videos and um, I ask questions and um, also contribute to what I did. If you think of a better way of doing it, you can let me know as well in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next video.